Hey guys, it's Matt with Jinx Brothers, and we've got some great news. The Mint has released their details, including photos, on the Morgan and Peace release. So stay tuned, and we'll get into the details. Alrighty, here we go. We are ready to find out the details on the Morgan and the Peace Dollar. The U.S. Mint released this, I believe, a day ago, maybe two days ago, um, but had no pricing, had no details. There, It was a bunch of hoo-ha floating around the community on what was going to happen. Um, I am uh, disappointed and excited all at the same time. So we'll start off with the CC, because um, I only can do one at a time, clearly. Um, because both the uh, CC Pretty Mark and the O Pretty Mark release first on May 24th. So here we go. As you can see, whoops. Pricing is amazing. It's 85 bucks. I thought for sure they were going to go well over 100 with this. So I'm pretty excited about that. What I am not excited about though is that product limit. 175,000. The bigger disappointment is the household limit of 25. That means these will go lightning fast because people are going to huck 25 in their basket, buy them, and they will be bought up in, I would say, seconds. Um, if this release lasts more than a couple of minutes, I would be shocked. I hope the website uh, is better this time um, than it was in previous releases, but we all know probably what's going to happen there. Um, the other thing that kind of stinks is they are going to do these in 9.9 fine silver. So they are not going to go back to the traditional 90% that a lot of us were hoping for. Uh, to give it that true feel and sound and look of a true Morgan. Um, I'm sure they're doing that out of ease because they're printing everything or minting everything else in 999 fine silver right now. So they would have to make a special thing. It is a special thing. So I think they probably should have gone the extra mile, but they did not. So... That is what is going on with the CC. I did look as well. And the O is the same deal. Oh, I forgot to show you one thing because it is pretty amazing. On the CC, if you look at the photos on the reverse, they're putting the pretty mark where the mitt mark would normally be, which I thought was a really cool touch. I was, for some reason, I don't know why I was thinking they would put the pretty mark on the front, um, but they did keep with tradition. Um, and it, so it will look like a real CC Morgan in a way, because the pretty mark is where the mint mark should be. Um, and that holds true for the O as well, which is pretty exciting to me. But anyways, let's get back to uh, the O. The O is the same gig. It is going to be $85, the same 175,000 uh, product limit in the same 25 household order limit. Again, these are gonna go quick. So um, I honestly think the CC will go fastest because uh, Carson said he just has that allure to it. So if, you know, you have to pick one, you might want to go with the O. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is going to be some crazy times. These these two are going to go so fast. It's going to be like the 1900 uh, mint limit of the gold coin uh, that happened just this past year. Um, I think it will be that fast. So um, the rest of the Morgans don't release until, and it's going to be the D mint mark, the S mint mark, uh, and the P mint mark. Those all release on, uh, I'm sorry, the P does not release until the 7th. Those release on June 1st, and it's the same story. 
they are going to be 85 bucks. They are going to be minted in 999 fine silver. They are going to have 175,000 product limit with a 25 household minimum or uh, maximum. So these are going to go just as fast, guys. I mean, I really was hoping they would open up the product limits on these so that anybody that really wanted to have one could have one. Um, if they did it with, even if they did it with just one of the mints, I mean, this is a really special coin. If they wanted to keep the limits down on the privies or the S's or something, I really wish they would have really beefed up the product limit or decreased the household limit um, with an elevated product limit so everybody could play the game and that wanted to play the game. So they could say, I have one. Um, I unfortunately feel that a lot of us are going to be stuck buying these at an elevated price on the secondary market, um, which I'm okay with. I understand that, that there is arbitrage, but I also understand that the Mint website stinks um, and we're going to have problems with it. And there's people that are truly in there trying their hardest to get it and they're not going to get it. And that is not fair. So we'll go to the last release, which is June 7th uh, for both the Morgan and the Peace from Philly. Um, it's, again, still the same for the Morgan, where 25 household limit, 175 only minted. And the 995 is just released a couple of days later. So I don't know if they're doing that to lessen the blow. So when you don't get one of the others, uh, you'll be available versus trying to pop around the site during the same day, trying to grab what you can grab. They're going to sell out. So it doesn't, it does not behoove them to do this. And last but not least, the peace dollar, the peace dollar, they did beef up, I guess you could say, not really. Um, the mintage of this, the product limit is 200,000. But again, they're only minting one piece dollar. So um, all those people that are going off after all the different Morgans now are all going after the single piece. So it might even be more competitive. Actually, I think it probably will be. Um, so that uh, product limit's not really helping us much, especially with the household limit staying at 25. And of course, they're sticking with the 995. So uh, we're doing three nines five all the way across the board. No 90s. I really wish they would have done them in 90s. It would have made it certainly a very special mintage. Um, seeing that they're doing such low um, product limits, I think they could have gone the extra mile and made that happen. But the mint chose not to. They chose the easy road uh, and stuck with their 999 fine. So if you want more information, I will uh, drop a link to the usmint.gov website so you can go in there and you can hover over the images and see things and be able to see things. Actually, it doesn't even hover on this one on the piece. That's kind of not nice. Let's make sure that they're doing it on the Morgan too. I know they did it on the CC. Uh, where's that Morgan? There it is. Oh, they're not doing it on these either. What a disappointment. You can't even zoom in on the on the Philly ones. The Denver ones. Uh, the different mint marks, they do allow you to zoom in so you can get a better idea of what's on the coin. But anyhow, I will drop a, a, a link so you can see um, what the coins look like. See those disappointing product limits and household limits. I uh, hope you enjoy this video and I wish you luck in getting these because it's truly going to be a struggle and I know there's going to be a lot of people disappointed by this um, because there's going to be a lot of people that miss out because uh, while the product limits aren't super small, that household limit at 25 is going to gobble them up very quickly. So good luck. Grab yourself a Morgan and Peace if you are lucky enough and fast enough. And we'll see you on the next video.